Welcome to this advanced Trello skills tutorial. In this Trello tutorial, I'll show you the attachments and power-ups options in Trello. If you haven't already watched my beginner's guide to using Trello, you really should watch that video in addition to this one to fully understand Trello. And the first tip I'd like to share with you is when you're in a Trello board, you can double click to open up a particular card in order to add attachments to that card. If I click here on attachment, I can click on, let's say Google Drive, and then I can attach a link to a website or to a document on the web and attach it to this particular card. For example, I could open up a tab and go to a web address and then select and copy that link, come back and paste it in. Underneath that, I can name the link and click attach. And now if I click away from the card, you'll notice that there is an attachment that goes with this card. And if I click to open it, here's the link to that website in this case. Now, in addition to websites, you can also attach images. So this time, instead of going to a sports website, I'm gonna go to bing.com and I'm gonna do a search for carpet and then I'll just switch to images. So it gives me only results that are images. So here's a carpet style and color, and then I'll click on it again to open it up as big as I can, and then I'll copy the URL, the web address for this picture, and I'll just paste that link here. I'll name it, click attach, and because this time it's an image, notice that it also added it as the cover for this card. So now I have a picture to easily remind me of what this card is all about. Now if you don't like that, you can remove the cover. The link to the picture is still there, but you can see the card now does not have a big image of carpet. I'm gonna make it cover again, because I kind of like that. Another thing you should consider doing in Trello is enabling power-ups. So if you look here on this card, here on the right side it says get power-ups, and if I click that link, it takes me to the power-ups store, basically. Each of these is a Trello power-up that improves Trello. It makes it work with other resources and tools like Slack in this case, or Google Drive. Other power-ups simply give you additional functionality. And so you can look through these featured power-ups, or you can go down and choose a specific category of power-up, developer tools, marketing tools, whatever it might be and then just click add to add that power up to your account. Now one thing to consider is with a free Trello account, you're only allowed to use one power up at a time. So you really need to kind of pick which one is your favorite and stick with that. But if you wanted to, you could remove it, add another one, remove that, and then add another one. As long as you only have one power up enabled at a time, it should work for you. You can also search for power ups. I'm gonna search for Google because this is one of the power-ups that I do recommend, the Google Drive power-up. If you're a Google user, you'll have quick access to all your Drive files that you can access directly from the Trello card. And so you can click to add that. Another good one to consider is the Slack Trello power-up. If you use Slack at work, it's a great option to add this. And another good one to use is Calendar. Let's look at that one. So I'll click Add. Notice that it says I've reached my power-up limit. So by enabling this calendar power up, it disabled my other power up that I had been using. So with calendar now enabled, here on my Trello board, at any point I can click on the calendar and it brings up any Trello card that has a due date. So let's add a couple of due dates. Let's say I need to get the new carpet installed by June 28th. I can just set a reminder maybe for the day before and then just click save. I'm going to also add a due date to the additional bathroom so that I don't forget. Let's say Wednesday the 3rd. I click Save. So now let's look at the calendar. If I click on Calendar, there it shows up and I can easily see what's up ahead with my Trello projects. If I go to Next Month, there's the additional bathroom project that I need to get working on. Just so you know, it is possible to enable Sync with your own personal calendar. So you could get your iCal calendar or an Outlook calendar or a Google calendar. You could get the URL for that calendar, enable sync, and it would sync these items to your personal calendars. So that's a good option. So those are a few of the attachments and power-up options in Trello. 
I hope that you'll investigate the other power-ups. And you can access the power-up store not just from a card, but also here in your menu in the upper right. You can just click there and click power-ups. I hope that you'll check out more of these. There's some wonderful power-ups listed there. And I hope that you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media accounts like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And when you do subscribe, please click the bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified whenever I post another video and watch for another video from me at least every Monday. If you'd like to support my YouTube channel, please become a supporter of mine through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below.